Hey everyone, this is Sam Patterson from Open Bazaar. This is a guide for people who want to use Open Bazaar over Tor with Windows. Please note that this is for people installing a new Open Bazaar node. If you've already created a node without Tor, then you may have already exposed your IP address. So if you want to use Tor, you should delete the existing node and start over if you don't have any Bitcoin or, or listings on it already. You can do that by going into your file explorer, clicking on this PC, C drive, users, your username, and then look for OpenBazaar 2.0. Now this will delete your store, so if you have any Bitcoin or listings, uh, don't do that, but if you want to install a new node with Tor, that's the way to go. So the first two steps are to download and install the Tor browser. To do that, go to torproject.org, click download Tor, then download Tor browser. Once that's downloaded, you can open it and then run through the installer. Make sure that you note where it's being installed, where your destination folder is. This is installing it on the desktop. You don't have to install it on the desktop, but just make sure you know where it's being installed. Make sure you uncheck the box Run Tor Browser. You don't want to start Tor yet. Now the next step is to open a command window. You can click down here and type command, then open the command prompt. And then you want to navigate where your Tor installation is, which in our case is the desktop. So CD for change directory. And then it's Tor browser slash browser slash Tor browser slash Tor. You can make sure you're in the right directory by typing dir and then looking for the tor.exe here. Now you're going to want to run this command. What this does is create a password for OpenBazaar to access your Tor settings, but it's making sure you have a password so that other applications aren't able to access your Tor settings. So type in Tor hash password, then enter your password. I'm just going to use password. Obviously, you should use a real secure password here. And then make sure you add this more at the end. That displays the output. It's going to hash this password, and you need that password hash. So this right here at the bottom is your hashed password. Highlight that and hit control C to copy and then paste in a notepad that hash password. Also make sure you type in the original password, the one that you used right here. We're going to need both of these later. Now you need to open your Tor RC file in a text editor. You can find that in Tor browser slash browser slash Tor browser slash data slash Tor. So ours is on desktop, Tor browser, browser, Tor browser, data, Tor. This is the Tor RC. Go ahead and open that with Notepad. Now you want to add this into the file. But where it says hash control password, you want to remove this. This is the sample in the tutorial. And then you want to copy from your notepad, paste in here, and make sure you click save. Once you've saved, you can exit.
Now, make sure that no OpenBazaar server is running and start your Tor browser. The first time you run Tor, it's going to ask you which way to connect. In most cases, you do want a direct connection. Looks like the Tor browser is now working correctly. Keep that running and then start OpenBazaar. You can find an OpenBazaar installer on openbazaar.org. Click download. Then click OpenBazaar for Windows, download. If you're not sure if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit machine, most likely it's 64-bit unless it's uh, quite old. So download the 64-bit and open it. As the tutorial says, OpenBazaar is going to detect that Tor is running. So if you want to use Tor, you click Use Tor. You, don't, you should not need to adjust the SOX5 proxy. And it's going to ask you for the Tor password. That is the unhashed password that you entered earlier. Once you've entered that, click Save. And then it should connect. The first time you run it, sometimes the server takes a, a little while to start. If it's successful and you're running Tor, you will then see the Tor onion symbol at the top. And if you hover over it, it will say Tor active. Then you can go ahead and set up and run a node uh, just like you would normally. That's it. I hope this tutorial is helpful.